Tony to Matt, can you hear me? Tony to Matt. Tony? What have you been doing since we left? Well, we also put in a couple of hours work. No, we, we, we got down to the beach, we found a kayak, we went out for kayaking, and I had, a, I had a dip in the sea as well. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased for you, mate. See you in a bit. See ya. Despite appearances, our island team has made a lot of progress since we left. Traces exposed more of the north wall of the chapel, and Matt's been trying to find the east wall. We've got through the rubble. Oh, wow! Yeah. Oh, God, that looks like cool. It does, not it? In the West End, Ian's cleared a lot of rubble and found something a bit odd. What on earth is that? Well, it's a big lump of iron, but God knows how old it is. And all that before hitting the beach. Proper freezing. <laughs> Tough life. Our boats made it safely today, but the story goes that Pilgrim's boats were wrecked on a regular basis on the perilous rocks around the island. And even today, these rocks can cause problems. The standing remains show a two-storey building. Croft Andrew found two small bedrooms for our monks, and we found the back wall of a refectory which would have been used by pilgrims waiting to get to the island on feast days when they really did make a day of it. What would they have done with their day? Well, the religious element would have centred on a mass set at about 9 or 10 in the morning, either on the island chapel if you could get to it, or else at the mainland chapel. And then after mass was over, around about 11 o'clock, the rest of the day would be free for a jollification. So you have to imagine it as being something like a little fair here yes. with all the loo tradesmen selling food, souvenirs, games and that kind of thing. So it wasn't just a serious occasion and in fact people criticised pilgrimages for the things that people got up to that they didn't alter, like young men and young women going off together and the young women getting pregnant as a result and uh, having an illegitimate baby was known as going on pilgrimage or going to Jerusalem. Golly, that really does put a different face on it, doesn't it? It does indeed. Pilgrimages were not what you think they were. <laughs> Aside from getting up to no good, if they couldn't get to the island, pilgrims would have attended services at the mainland chapel and maybe laid offerings at the altar, where Jack is beginning to have doubts about the kissed burial. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan-funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more. <laughs>